Well, now to the growing United Auto Workers strike this morning. A surprise expansion hitting Ford Motor Company's biggest plant. In one move, the union more than doubled the number of workers on strike at Ford. Well, here's where those numbers stand this morning. Yesterday, there were 7,900 union workers on strike against Ford. The new expansion added another 8,700 workers from the Kentucky truck plant in Louisville. This means now more than 16,000 Ford workers are on strike. Now the total number of workers currently on strike against all of the big three now stands at 33,000. Well, 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is live at the Ford assembly plant in Wayne this morning. And Peter, this appears to be a very targeted move by Sean Fain. What is the union saying is behind this renewed effort? You know, I've been saying this from the very beginning. This is a game of chess, not checkers. And Louisville's assembly plant for Ford, that is Ford's largest factory, and it produces Ford's popular larger SUV, such as the Ford Expedition and the Lincoln Navigator, and also including their Super Duty pickup trucks. It was a move that caught Ford by surprise, the walkout of nearly 8,700 UAW workers at their Kentucky factory. Now a third of Ford's production capacity has hit the brakes. This comes after the UAW rejected Ford's latest offer on Wednesday at the negotiating table. This offer was the exact same offer they gave us two weeks ago. In our position, they're not taking us serious. We've been very patient. Merrick Masters, a professor of business at Wayne State University, says the companies will soon hit a breaking point if this continues. At some point, the companies are going to have reached their resistance points, which we call in negotiation, those positions where beyond which they won't go because they can't afford it. And they don't think they can get a viable agreement and remain competitive. And they may be getting close to that. Ford responding to the UAW's latest move, saying they made a record contract offer, which in fairness, the union has publicly described as the best on the table. Ford also saying, quote, the decision to call a strike at Ford's Kentucky truck plant is grossly irresponsible, but unsurprising, given the union's leadership stated strategy of keeping the Detroit three wounded for months through reputational damage and industrial chaos. I think that we're at a point now where Ford and the other companies have made significant offers and the union has not been countering, which means that they've been pocketing all these concessions that the companies have been made. And for uh, there's no hint of any deal in sight between the UAW, Ford, Stellantis, and GM. And later this morning, UAW President Sean Fain will be on Facebook Live giving another announcement on the state of the negotiations. Reporting in Wayne, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.